stone. A lump of rock, smoothed by time and friction to fit the hand. Picked up on a beach maybe, or from a stream bed, maybe in the road. John Ruskin, who drew this stone, insisted on looking at things, really looking at them, and trying to see them as truly as possible. He used drawing as a way of looking, because when he drew, he would stay and look, really look, as long as he could, as long as the drawing would take. And he drew lots of things, mountains and clouds, buildings and plants, hillsides and valleys, and stones, ordinary stones, really looking at them and seeing them as truly as possible. In Lent, we have a chance to do some looking of our own, to de do some true seeing. When we look at ourselves with clear eyes, stripping away the illusions we like to protect ourselves with, we see our sins like stones in our shoes, causing us pain as we walk in our pockets, weighing us down, in our hands, ready to hurt other people. Like Ruskin drawing the stone and taking as much time as he needed to see it truly, perhaps this Lent gives us a chance to look, to really see our sins the stones that we carry around with us. And then once we have really looked at them and seen the truth of them, then by the grace of God and with his help, perhaps we can put them down 